Hello there, Ruby and I have just arrived at Richmond House in Barmouth. It's a fantastic afternoon, we're coming towards the end of May and it really feels like summer's arriving. The beach is only a few hundred yards in this direction, I've already seen some guests wandering off there for a quick dip in the water. As you can see, Richmond House has got a massive car park here, there's room for Wow, easily six vehicles, probably more. But this is just the start of the story. Stay watching and I'll tell you more in a minute. It's quite hard to believe that we're right in the centre of Barmouth, backing onto the high street here when it's so quiet. A few minutes ago I even heard a chicken clucking somewhere. But I'll tell you a bit about Richmond House now. It's got accommodation on five levels, including the basement. So there's bags of room for either extended family or several generations of your family to come and live here. The current owners have actually used all the space to provide upmarket prestige B&B. And they've earned a good income from this from the last 10 or 13 years. Over that time, they've really looked after the property, also improved it quite a lot and it's got a really interesting history to it. Inside, there's loads of original features, and it was built in the heyday of Barmouth, when all the rich industrialists from the Midlands were developing the town. So the proportions inside are grand, it's also really ornate. It was actually built as a hotel, and I think there's a concealed uh, laundry chute somewhere in there as well. After its extended period as a hotel, it actually got uh, taken over during World War II and was used as accommodation for soldiers in the area as, when it was requisitioned. After that it turned back to being a hotel and B&B for a few years but then soon after it actually got turned into a doctor's surgery and it was the town's doctors that occupied the premises for quite a while. After that it got taken over by an antiques dealer, then a, a local developer lived here and uh, looked after it and now it's in the hands of Dylan and Nicky who have really enhanced the property further still and brought it into the 21st century. So let's go round, I can't show you everything or we'd be here for about an hour. I'll try and show you over each floor in about the next two minutes to give you a whistle stop tour and my advice is actually don't book up a viewing, book up and come and stay here for the weekend and get a real feel for the place. I think you'll love it. As you come in the main entrance door and into the reception hallway here, you can see a really high ceiling, lovely floor bells. Oh, drop my microphone now. And this staircase is an absolute work of craftsmanship here. The ground floor at the moment is used by the current owners as their main living accommodation and sort of ground floor flat really. And then below it, in the basement, there's all the storage rooms and workshops. In this ground floor area, we've got a kitchen, the owner's lovely bay-fronted lounge. There's also a shower room on this floor and a big bay-fronted bedroom too. I just wanted to give you a quick glimpse of what the basement is like. It's divided up into about three rooms, but there's all sorts of nooks and crannies down here. It's mainly used as a storage area and for workshop space, but there's also a boiler room where all the heating controls and plumbing is as well. It all feels pretty dry in here. It's also been rewired, and there's also, also the fire security system is also connected down here, and there's another door out here which takes you to the front garden. Now this awesome staircase brings us up to the first floor. At the moment it's given over to uh, B&B customers' living room, dining room and the kitchen for the B&B. Plus there's another toilet over here. But you could just as easily use this as further main accommodation for family occupancy. There's a lovely sea view off the landing here. I'd like to say that the tour is nearly over, but we're only halfway because this is the second floor and there's another one above to go to next. On this second floor here, this is given over to the bed and breakfast rooms. So there's three bedrooms on this floor. They're called Snowden, Bala and Bardsey. Each one of them has got its own ensuite bathroom. Bala is occupied at the moment, but again, lovely sea view. 
even the sea view from the bathroom with that one. And then Bardsey is at the back here and that overlooks inland up to the hills. Again, beautiful bathroom with this room. And there's also another bathroom over here on my left. I'm right on the very top floor now and this floor is arranged like a little apartment. There's a bathroom over here, which is all fitted out to a good modern standard. Got back bedroom, there's a kitchen here, and then there's three further rooms which can be used as sitting rooms and bedrooms as well. Well, it's been an awesome afternoon here at Richmond House. Hope the tour round's been useful to you. Millie here and Ruby have both enjoyed the afternoon too. Now, there are a few disadvantages with buying big Victorian houses like this. Sometimes they can be cold and drafty. I don't think that's gonna be the case with Richmond House with all the double glazing and the up-to-date central heating system that is so well controlled that when you come around and view it, the owners will go through all their costs of the energy with you and I think you'll be quite surprised how reasonable they are. The other drawback can be that you have a lot of maintenance on houses like this. But actually, once again, the house has been so well maintained that I think everyone's on top of most jobs and there's no backlog for you to fight against once you move in. If you're looking for a and b opportunity, then I would have thought that there's going to be a fairly easy handover of business on the horizon here. And it's not going to be too complicated for somebody to take over. But in the meantime, have a think about it. If you want to come and view it, or you'd like a video of your own house to sell it, please give me a call on the usual number. That's 01341 281 599. If you don't know much about Barmouth, wait till the link at the end of this video, and that will take you to my short video about the town. And if you need to watch more Sanderson Estate Agents videos, please subscribe to Sanderson Estate Agents YouTube channel. Press the little alarm bell icon, and then you'll be notified of new properties coming on the market once the videos are made. So I'm Andy Sanderson, this is Millie, that's Ruby. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope to hear from you soon. Bye-bye now. Thank you.